Hey guys, it's Ruzvain and welcome back to my channel. So I finally got another speed build back for you guys today. And this one's a little bit special, at least for me. It's just a Starbucks. <laughs> I'm not doing a very good job selling this, but the Starbucks that I'm building today is, is very strong in my childhood memories. Well, not childhood, high school memories. So any of my IRL friends probably have an idea of what I'm about to show you guys in a little bit. The Starbucks that I've got is based off a real life Starbucks in my hometown and I've uploaded it on the gallery. It's called Starbucks at 32nd and this is the Starbucks that it's based off of. It's a big one. It's two stories. Um, it seats like, at least in the game, it seats I think around a hundred people. It's been a while since I've built community lot like this. I think the last one was probably the Mary Grace one, which you should also go and watch even though it was like my first video on the channel so it's kind of cringy but still give it a watch i'm kind of proud of that build as well so i just want to get into the speed build because it's a bit of a long one but before i do that here's some other reference images that i took uh personally not just off google images um i did actually visit the cafe quite recently during the time of quarantine although unfortunately because of lockdown rules here they had to uh, minimize the uh, the capacity in the cafe so the second story was actually closed off i couldn't get any pictures there as reference images unfortunately so i just have to go off like old images that i could find on google and not recent ones sad but what can you do let's get into the speed build it's a big one Okay, so I know that I keep saying that this is a big one, but this really was a big one. I think that the recording for this, it was definitely more than three hours. The, um, the actual things that I recorded, I think was three hours, but uh, all the clutter, all the uh, little things and knickknacks that I had to put down took much longer than that. So let's say maybe this build took around five-ish hours to do um the last time that i did like a clutter heavy build like this was the mary grace build and that made sense because the style of that restaurant it was a sort of the theme that they're very like homey very very cluttery they have a bunch of knickknacks and antiques and all of that in that restaurant um but even in this starbucks you know how they like to you know how they like to decorate their cafes it's uh uh, they like to decorate it with a lot of their merch and unfortunately uh it's not like we have those types of clutter items in the game so i had to actually use debug and <laughs> i'm always scared of using the debug menu you guys because it's a mess in there it's not organized at all as you as anybody who's a builder in the sims will know <laughs> i don't know why they can't organize the debug menu you guys but what can we do so i had to like scroll through the entire debug menu just to find like maybe a couple of mugs and tumblers and things in order to decorate the restaurant oh sorry the cafe um, so uh that was a little bit painful but i still enjoyed making this nonetheless um i am i still sort of consider myself a relatively newbie builder but i think i'm getting towards the intermediate stage of it just because i've been doing this a lot more now and this is a pretty big build for me um as you can probably expect i used quite a, a couple of items from the dine out pack and the what's it called the get together pack because the get together pack is the one that actually introduced cafe lots into the world um and I actually really like building community lots, actually. I think it's because you have this set sort of checklist of what you already need in the build. So it's like, oh yeah, we need an espresso bar. We need an espresso grinder and all of these things. Like the the game basically tells you what to build. And <laughs> you you have like a couple of directions, but not like... But you still have a couple of ways that you can take your creative direction further, you know. But anyway, let me tell you a little bit of a personal story about why I decided to make this Starbucks. Um, I know that there are several iterations of Starbuckses on the Sims Gallery already. Um, in one of my older videos, actually, I think I reacted to a Starbucks uh, build in the game. But that Starbucks, I think, was built before the Get Together pack came out. So they didn't actually have even the espresso bar 
or any of those coffee items that is in the game now. Uh, at least I have it because I have the uh, the get together pack. So I was like, oh, that was kind of lacking. Um, I did want to make my own cafe again. I've missed making community lots. Um, they're bigger projects, but they're fun. And also, I have a lot of uh, memories attached to this uh, Starbucks in particular. Hello, IRL friends, if you're watching, <laughs> you already know what's, what I'm going to talk about. Um, basically, in my senior year of high school, um, this was the place where almost every single student went to study together. And um, our teachers even went to this Starbucks as well um, for like tutoring sessions and everything. Um, so... <laughs> I remember the first time I came to the Starbucks. I never came to the Starbucks, I think, uh, before my high school exams. Um, so I remember the first time coming here and it was just absolutely filled. And it's a big cafe. It's got two stories and it was full, full of students. And they're studying there the whole day. They're not, they're not leaving. <laughs> it's like, it's like a nine to five thing maybe let's say nine to seven i remember staying there nine to seven it was it was a thing <laughs> um but i think it started because the math teachers in my grade uh they're the one i think that they were the ones who initiated it they were because like everybody everybody needs help with math right so they were kind enough to um host they're not they're not really hosting they just offered to provide extra help outside of the school and it was at this starbucks that happened to be kind of close to the school and uh, it was it, it was a good place and if you i haven't built a second story yet but you'll see when i create the second story here um it's almost designed as if it was a library just because there are so many uh desks and chairs that are just lined up as if as if they're study spaces um of course they're not actually <laughs> but it worked out for us they were study spaces for us we claimed them <laughs> i think part of me felt a little bit bad because our our grade practically took over the starbucks and, <laughs> and we weren't leaving so well a lot of us would continue to buy things from the cafe downstairs obviously because it, it's kind of it's kind of bad manners or it's, it would be uncourteous of us to just stay there the whole day and only buy like a drink or a pastry. So <laughs> at least that's what I did. I would have like a coffee in the morning and then I would have a frap or something later in the afternoon to treat myself. And uh, <laughs> while those were somewhat uh, difficult memories of just studying and cramming every day, um, it was a good experience. I <laughs> I learned how to discipline myself and learned how to time, learn how to time manage, learn how to manage my time <laughs> from going to the Starbucks every single day. Um, I would have my parents drop me off before they go to work here because it's like on the way. And then in the evening when I'm done, I would just walk back home. It was it was a fun experience. <laughs> um, well, maybe fun is a strong word, but <laughs> it was a valuable one, a memorable one. Um, so yeah, that's basically the story of this Starbucks. And even to this day, I still enjoy coming back here. Um, obviously not to study, thank goodness. <laughs> um, I have I do plenty of that over at Sydney. Um, but I just come here now because it's, uh, it's a good place. It's big, spacious. I think I remember that the Starbucks was kind of hot. Like the AC wouldn't really work. But <laughs> but that's that's the Philippines for you guys. Anyway, um, I really like... Uh, I really like doing builds where the second floor has like an opening in the middle so you can see down onto the first floor. I did that with my dream house and I did that with a Mary Grace build as well. It's just a fun thing because then you can put like a really cool feature light in the center of the of the build. <laughs> oh, and this Starbucks act actually um, is also interesting um because it's got a drive through so um obviously there are no cars in the sim so i was wondering to myself do i 
bother even making this drive through i mean like does it does it really matter um well i found i found yes <laughs> My boyfriend says yes. And so I did. I did end up actually making that drive through in The Sims. Um, you can see that I made a really jank version in the beginning, but I adjust it later so that it makes a little bit more sense. Um, I did make that drive through. Um, also because I felt like I didn't really want to do like too much landscaping around the build either. So I felt that building a road around the building would probably be an easier thing for me to do um and it was um so there's a drive through not functional obviously um <laughs> um yeah i think i said that this thing housed like a hundred seats i think 96 or something now oh, you can see me taking out the debug items right now oof um i i took out a bunch of those debug items because i think like i said a while ago uh, you need you need to put down the Starbucks merch. That's how they decorate their first floor at the very least. But uh, it's really frustrating because there's pretty much no appropriate clutter items for that. And I also wanted to put like coffee bags or uh, I don't know, some sort of coffee container as a decorative piece, you know. But we don't even have that in The Sims. I don't have it. And I didn't want to use CC either because... You know, not everybody uh, is able to access CC or put the, put it on their game because it makes your game lag and all of that. Um, so I didn't want to put in CC um, as much as I wanted to. I did in my Mary Grace build, which was which was a good experience. But I I wanted to try going no CC for this one. Um, so uh, it does it does come with its ups and downs, unfortunately. Um, but oh well <laughs> uh it is on the gallery so you can go ahead and download it it's called starbucks at 32nd it is a 30 by 30 lot um i don't know how expensive it is it's probably a couple hundred thousand simoleons though um because it is big <laughs> Yeah, so I learned how to properly place down clutter items in the game because if you play The Sims, you know that when you place down something on like a countertop or a coffee table or console table, it snaps into place. So that was a really frustrating thing if you're trying to properly decorate something here. Um, so I had learned how to do that. Um, it's pretty easy. You just have to place something on the actual surface that you want to place it on then you have to take the table out and then the item that you want to put on that table it kind of floats in the air and then you can all place it properly it's a weird thing it's a weird technique <laughs> um but you can see at this point it's really just me placing down the decorative items you know just to try to make it look like this place is really actually full and has some life in it it's not just it's not just couches and tables and chairs and everything i think i did somewhat of a decent job you know mimicking it um to the real life uh, cafe um i was thinking initially of putting in cc paintings because i think that you can do that um i think in the in the um one of my old videos that i did where i reacted to a starbucks build uh i went into the starbucks and there were cc paintings of like coffee and pastries and everything and then it was actually a muck cafe <laughs> it was like wait i'm being bamboozled here is this a starbucks or a muck cafe so initially i was thinking of doing that but then i was like i don't know how to do it and i don't know if i have the time to do it because this build is so freaking big <laughs> and uh I, I i didn't have the time to do it i i couldn't maybe maybe in another time when i have a uh, maybe a smaller build. <laughs> I can do that, but no, not for this one. It's it's a lot. <laughs> but um, towards the end, actually, um, at about this time in the speed build right now, I'm changing the driveway uh, and a little bit of the outside and making sure that the lighting is all okay. And speaking of lighting, how can you know that it's a Starbucks without putting the Starbucks logo? So I had to find a way to put down the Starbucks logo <laughs> and um, I had to go into cheats. This was my idea. I had to go into cheats and then I went in and drew the Starbucks logo 
using fabricated wall lights from Eco Lifestyle. <laughs> it was a whole ordeal. I think that it in itself took maybe an hour or an hour and a half. <laughs> so you can see that I'm tracing out this circular painting or whatever that came from Dine Out. It was a whole thing. I didn't bother recording the whole thing because it would have just been boring. It would have just been little tiny dots as if I was painting in The Sims or something. Um, but yeah, that's the speed build. And now let's go in to the actual game and I'll tour you guys around. So I've brought Nancy Landgrab to the Starbucks that I've created. And it kind of feels like the whole gang is here. Like I think I saw Bella Goth a while ago. Oh, she's there now. And even everybody's here. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> it's a whole celebration. But here we are in the Starbucks. Why is Malcolm over there? <laughs> But anyway, um, let's tour around a little bit, starting from the outside, maybe. I did place this in Newcrest. Um, actually, it's neighboring the dream house. <laughs> it's right in the back. I made it in the same world. So, you know, in case we ever want a coffee, you can drop by the Starbucks next door. So here's how it looks from the outside. And there's my finished little Starbucks logo. I spent way too long on that, you guys. <laughs> way too long. So I want you guys to, you know, savor this image. <laughs> it, I still think that it looks a little bit wonky. And I think that the Starbuckses that I saw in the gallery looked much better. So, you know, I'm fine. <laughs> okay, let's, look, uh, let's look around on the outside. As you can see two floors a little bit of outside seating uh down on the first floor and on the second floor there's a little balcony here with some chairs you can have a, your coffee outside and here's a driveway i know i know it doesn't make sense because like it's not like cars can pass through here anyway but i wanted to put in a driveway to be true to the real cafe as much as i could starbucks drive throughs i don't know if they're popular wherever you guys are but at least here around here in in Taguig or just the Philippines to say the Philippines um Starbucks is here in the Philippines they don't really have like driveways or anything they're usually just in the mall or just standalone cafes and stuff right this is a unique one um which is another reason why I wanted to make this and here's the back I did put some solar panels. I don't know why. I just felt like it was appropriate. I don't think there are any on the actual one. So I did have to take a little bit of creative liberty out here. So let's go to the entrance. Dun, 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 dun. Wow, this is hard to do with only one hand, you guys. I really need a microphone stand. This is, this is an emergency. <laughs> okay, let's put up some of the walls. Um, here's the floating merch. <laughs> They're supposed to be on display shelves like so, but of course I put down the wall so they disappeared for a quick moment. And uh, wow, this is really popular, huh? Everybody's here. This is like the real Starbucks. <laughs> um, so back here, uh, this is where people are supposed to be waiting for their coffee. And this little divider thing, that's real. There's actually that in real life. I think I can put up a reference image. Goes back to the bathroom over in this corner. Oh, I'm sorry. I just peeped on her in the bathroom. <laughs> and here, <laughs> I'm sorry. I just wanted to show that the bathroom existed. But um, you know how in every Starbucks, there's like a little station where you can get sugar packets and you know, all that stuff. So that's what this is supposed to be. Of course, Sims is in beta, so they don't have all of these cute little clutter items that I would like to put down. Um, I'm sure CC has done, has like gone and done it already, but again, I didn't want to make it CC. Wow, everybody's at this big table. <laughs> Usually these tables are like where people like to study. These tables are where people like to hang out. I assume that there is a kitchen, so... I put in the kitchen. <laughs> uh, these are these are also clutter items. These uh, little dirty plates and everything. It's just a standard kitchen. Nothing special really. This is where the uh, the drive-through takeout space is supposed to be, where you pick up your order. They didn't quite have the ceiling lamps that I wanted, but I thought that these would do. I think these are from Eco Lifestyle. I could be wrong, <laughs> but this is what I was talking about earlier when I said that this was pretty much laid out almost as if it was a library um, with all of these desks and chairs around 
the uh, second floor of the cafe. I remember personally studying here and here. These were the spots where I studied, so I'd be hanging out here, you know, from like 9 to 6 p.m. <laughs> um, slaving my life away. By the way, in case you were wondering, um, it was the IB diploma. I was studying for my IB exams. Uh, I, ooh, ooh, that's a rough one. I just realized that the roof is clipping into the wall. Anyway, it's clipping into the wall. I'm sorry about that. I didn't realize that earlier. Um, same here. <laughs> oh no. I guess it just didn't appear in... It didn't appear in build mode. So I don't know why it's appearing now in uh, in live mode. But it, it, anyway, I'm sorry. <laughs> if you download this... If you have downloaded this already on the gallery. I'm sorry about that. Sumi my sin. I don't know what I can do about it. Um, it's just the game being a little bit, you know, not exactly the sharpest tool, you know. There was supposed to... I remember that there was a balcony here in the cafe. Don't remember what it looked like. I don't even know if there are plants out there. I don't think there are. <laughs> so I just had to be creative. <laughs> and same with just the, uh, the couches and all of the stuff around here. And also, I remember that... On the way to the bathroom on the second floor, there was another outside area here. But I didn't put tables here because I think this is just where smokers went to smoke. It's not like they're gonna be eating while smoking, okay? So <laughs> all I gave the um all that I gave were like trash cans so that they can be responsible people. Be responsible and throw away your cigarette butts for goodness sake. This is a public service announcement. <laughs> That's the build. I hope that you enjoyed the speed build i hope that you enjoyed the tour as well like i said you can download this on the gallery it's called starbucks at 30 second i think a couple of people have downloaded it already so thanks if you are watching and you've downloaded it um tell me how it was i think that it's m largely functional so it wasn't like the mary grace one where things are like not really working out <laughs> this one should be working and also please please admire my logo I worked hard on it. It's built out of fabricated wall lights. <laughs> well, that was the video, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed another speed build of mine. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And you can also follow me on my socials. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, uh, bleh. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can find me there at RooseRainYT. And in speaking of Twitter, I have been pretty freaking active on Twitter recently. It's been so fun actually just finding other small Sims YouTubers out there and looking at other people's builds. And you told me you should have gotten the Twitter a long time ago. I've been hesitant to go on Twitter, you guys. Like it's been it's been kind of sad, but <laughs> but I'm finally on Twitter, and it's been a really really fun experience so far. So with that said. I actually wanted to shout out a couple of you guys who I've interacted with on Twitter or who have followed me or ha who have um, subscribed to my channel. Just anything. If I've said hi to you, <laughs> um, I just wanted to shout you, you guys out because I wanted to, you know, show my appreciation. I feel very welcomed by this community and I wanted to give something back. I have a Google Keep <laughs> of some names. Shout out to... Too Tall Tina, Scrunchy Sims, Simelia, Lover Lee, Kit Kat Sims, Aria Fay, Masala Sims, The Sims Community, Sim Crazy Cat Lady, Mandy's Gaming Garden, That Simlish Guy, Princess Jasmine, Mr. De Sims, and An Introverted Gamer. That's a lot of people. <laughs> um, I'm sorry if I said your name wrong. I just, I'm just trying my best out here. Thanks you guys again for interacting with me, slash following me, slash subbing to me on youtube it's been a very eventful couple of days since i signed up for twitter and also a little bit of schedule talk i think i'm gonna go back to uploading just two times a week you know for the sake of my sanity and also for the sake of quality of my videos um as you guys probably know, I like to put a lot of effort into ed editing my videos. It takes like a whole day for me to edit a video. So I need to find some way to balance my normal life, my thesis life, and my sims life. So back to two videos a week it is, and that'll be Wednesdays and Sundays, sometime in the evening, Philippine time. So that's it from me. Thanks you guys for watching another video, and I'll see you guys on the Wednesday video. Bye!